so much for being here with us again. It is a matter of pride that in four years, we have brought together several hundred free zones and associated entities from around the world for a shared future. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm Dr. Samir. I'm the CEO of the World Fusion Organization, and we are celebrating our fourth annual event. This organization has been launched uh, four years ago. Uh, we are an NGO based in Geneva and headquartered in, uh, in the United Arab Emirates, and we represent the only voice of the Fusions around the world. Uh, we had a great achievement. We have member more than 400 members from more than 100 countries. This year's topic was about uh, how free zones around the world can better contribute to the local economy. Zones today should contribute to four elements in the economy. The business, excellence and economic contribution as a pillar and after best practices, innovation, sustainability. My name is uh, Martin Gustavo Ibarra. I am the vice chairman of the World Free Zone organization. I am the founder member of the, of the organization. Yesterday, I have the opportunity to speak about the new challenge of the free zones, technology, transparency, and taxes. And we have a very interesting presentation on how the new move of the United States to tax the steel, the aluminum, and some products is going to change the business and some free zones around the world. And in the other, in the other hand, how the free zones are the best mechanism to attract and, and compete with the United States with, because the United States lowered the income and corporate tax to the 21%. And the free zone give a fantastic environment that the companies uh, located in the free zone around the world will be more competitive to adapt to the new disruption model. My name is Chuck Heath, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Parks, Logistics, and Economic Zones for DP World. Uh, we're attending the conference because many of our global clients are based here, or here for the conference. So far, I think the conference has been quite good. It's certainly well attended. Uh, we're meeting new, new people all the time, every year. Uh, there, there's new attendees and new potential clients. Uh, as you know, DP World in their parks and logistics zone, uh, we're expanding globally. And so many of our existing clients are here attending this event and many of hopefully future clients will be here as well. I'm Federico Gomez, I'm from Colombia, South America. I work for Araujo and Ibarra, which is a, a consultancy based in Bogota, Colombia, but we have a global reach. Uh, we act right now as uh, investment bankers as if for the promotion of a very large project located in northern part of Colombia. It is one of the most important free trade zones in the Western Hemisphere. It is one of the only one that has a very large uh, real estate already available, plus a deep water sea port, which is uh, allowed to receive Cape size uh, ships with 180,000 uh, tons of, of capacity. And right now we are promoting uh, the free trade zone, which is integrated in the project. Uh, this is, uh, the, the, the good thing about this is the location. It is in the, in the, in the center of, of the, the Americas, very near the, the, the Panama Canal. Uh, it is the closest point to the United States from South America. And uh, the good thing is that we have an extraterritorial regime, which means that a free, in a free trade zone, you can bring all the, all the raw materials, whatever, whatever it is, pay no taxes at all, and you can manufacture whatever you want in Colombia. And by adding a percentage of more or less 30, 35%, you will grant origin Colombian origin, which means that you can benefit for, from all the free trade agreements that Colombia has been signing for the last 20 years.
I'm Fernando Cordero, Secretary General for the uh, Colon Free Zone in Panama. We are here from um, Panama representing the free zones in the area and uh, we have found a very nice show, very well presented uh, with very interesting topics. Uh, the topics on AI and um, Internet of Things and how, how this all relates to our business of free zones uh, is quite interesting. Uh, we are basically what we're finding out is that all this technology revolution, internet and e-commerce especially, how it all binds up and basically it's changing the way we do business in the free zones and in order to remain competitive we believe that this kind of a conference and exchange of information is very important to us. Uh, we're in a very strategic position in Panama. We're basically the, uh, the gateway, the entrance to Latin America, especially with goods from Asia. Um, and we are basically looking for companies that are willing to enter the Latin American market, which is a very uh, stable market uh, with very high potential, very um, a young population, economies that are growing at a very nice pace. So the free zone and Panama in general offers basically a door to this economy. Турсунгалиев Айбек Алибекович, председатель правления специальной экономической зоны Павлодар, Казахстан. Платформа, предоставляемая World Free Zone Organization, является одной из самых эффективных в мире. В этой связи в целях выведения СС Павлодар на международный уровень и дальнейшего развития мы стали официальными членами World Free Zone Organization. World Free Zone Organization предоставляет возможность взаимодействия с крупными международными инвесторами, а также ведущими организациями, специализирующимися в этой сфере. Учитывая специфику специальной экономической зоны Павлодар, у нас есть приоритетные виды деятельности. Это части химии, нефтехимии, металлургии, металлургический кластер и потенциал металлургии в Павлодарской области, он безграничен. Поэтому в основном мы будем ориентироваться на проекты в сфере химии, нефтехимии, металлургии. В этой связи государством на законодательном уровне Участникам, резидентам специальной экономической зоны предоставляются преференции и льготы. Это освобождение от налогов, таких как налог на добавленную стоимость, корпоративно-подоходный налог, имущественный налог. Земля предоставляется в аренду безплатно сроком до завершения специальной экономической зоны. 